Greetings, dear brothers and sisters, in the holy, mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Once again to Messiah and Messiah alone be all the praise, honor, and glory. And today is the 19th day, right Anna? Yes. Right David? Yes. Yeah, today is the 19th day, dear brothers and sisters, of the fifth month of the year 2020. Today we are at day 38, day 38 of our journey of counting the Omer to Shavuot. Counting the Omer to Shavuot, which Messiah ordained for us from counting the Omer from Resurrection Sunday to Pentecost Sunday. Once again, we all are returning fellow brethren. We welcome you for joining us for day 38 of counting the Omer to Shavuot. We thank you so very much once again, all our dear fellow brethren, all our returning fellow brethren and Yeshua HaMashiach for being a part of this journey to honor, to glorify, to exalt our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, because... This is eternal life, the Bible says, that we may know Him. We may know our Messiah and our Heavenly Father. And the only way we can know Him is through His Word. And if you're joining us for the first time, we welcome you, our dear fellow brethren. We truly believe that in His house, there are no accidents, there are no coincidences. We all are here by a divine appointment for Messiah's divine ordained purpose. So let's today, before we enter his word, dwell in his word, meditate in his word. And let us once again petition together so that Messiah can decrease us. So that we can bring all those wandering thoughts captive, claiming on 2 Corinthians 10, 5, which is Messiah's imperative, which is Messiah's word, gives us the imperative to take those wandering thoughts captive. So let us petition together. Let's bow our hearts, let's bow our heads, and let's petition together once again so that Messiah's purpose is only be accomplished in each one of us so that Messiah only can increase in each one of us to accomplish His and only His mighty purpose. So let's bow our hearts and let's bow our heads and let's start with a short word of prayer. Shall we, Anna? Yes. Shall we, David? Yes. All right. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We just praise you, we just praise you, we just praise you, Lord. As we come in your presence, O Holy Father, we give you all the praise and honor and glory. The Bible says that you and you alone are worthy, Lord, of all the praises, of all the honor of all the glory. We thank you, Lord, for who you are, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being our God. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, you are doing and will be doing in our lives. You said, Lord, that we did not choose you in John 15, 16. You said we did not choose you, but you chose us and you appointed us to bear fruit and the fruit may remain. We thank you, Lord, for being our God. We thank you, Lord, for choosing us. We thank you, Lord, for sending your only begotten son, giving him to butchery for each one of us. We thank you, our Messiah, for dying an excruciating death on that cross beyond any human imagination for filthy people like us to redeem us. Your word says, Lord, behold, what manner of love, what manner of love that you have bestowed on each one of us. Now we are, that now we are called the children children of God. We thank you, Father, for every single thing. Lord, today we bring our day 38 of counting the Omer to Shavuot in your presence, Lord. We thank you for this journey, Lord, which you have ordained for us. We anoint day 38 of counting the Omer to Shavuot. We bring all of your fellow brethren in thy presence, Lord, and pray, Lord, as we dwell on your word together, Lord. Once again, Lord, please open your words to our hearts and lives and our hearts and lives to thy words. And please, through your Ruach, Lord, please make this word active and living so that may there be a transformation in our lives, a revival in our relationship with our living God, our Redeemer, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We surrender ourselves, Lord, and this time and all our dear fellow brethren unto thy mighty hands in the name above every single name of our Messiah, our reigning and coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. And amen and amen. All right, dear brothers and sisters, we start our Day 38, once again, with our Omer blessing in Hebrew. And today, the Omer blessing in Hebrew, Anna, our 11-year-old daughter, Anna, she will do for us. And you can please go ahead, and Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohino Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu Bemitzvotav, Vetizivanu Al Sifirat HaOmer. Amen, and amen, and amen. And the Omer blessing 
in English today, David, our seven-year-old son, David, he will do for us, and you can please go ahead, David. Blessed are you, Adonai Arkad, Sovereign of the Universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and directed us to count the Omer. Amen, and amen, and amen. So the first Psalm, first Psalm for day 38 is Psalm 38, and David, our seven-year-old son, David, he will do for us, and you can please go ahead, David. Psalm 38, prayer and time of chastening, a psalm of David, to bring to remembrance. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure, for your arrows pierce me deeply, and your hand presses me down. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, nor any health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are full of inflammation and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and severely broken. I groan because of the turmoil of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me, and for the light of my eyes, it is also gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my relatives stand afar off. Those who seek my life lay snares for me. Those who seek my hurt speak of destruction and plan deception all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. Thus I am like a man who does not hear, and in whose mouth is no response. For in you, O oh Lord, I hope you will hear, O oh Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest they rejoice over me, lest, when my foot slips, they exalt themselves against me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, I will be in anguish over my sin. But my enemies are vigorous, and they are strong, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. And those who also render evil for good, they are my adversaries, because I follow what is good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O oh my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord, my salvation. Praise God, praise God. Praise God! Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. And the second psalm is Psalm 88. Second psalm for day 38 is Psalm 88. Anna, our 11-year-old daughter Anna will do for us. And you can please go ahead, Anna. Psalm 88, a prayer for help in despondency. A song, a psalm of the sons of Korah, to the chief musician, Setu, Mahalath Lenoth, a contemplation of Heman, the Ezraite. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I am like a man who has no strength, adrift among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the depths. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. Sila. You have put away my acquaintances far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot get out. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. 
Will you work wonders for the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise you? Selah. Shall your loving kindness be declared in the tree, or your faithfulness in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I have been afflicted and ready to die from my youth. I suffer your terrors. I am distraught. Your fierce wrath has gone over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They came around me all day long like water. They engulfed me altogether. Loved one and friend, you have put far from me and my acquaintances into darkness. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And the final psalm for day 38 is Psalm 138. Psalm 138. Staggering psalm. The Lord's goodness to the faithful. A psalm of David. I will praise you with my whole heart before the gods. I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yes, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies. And your right hand, your right hand will save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We thank you so very much once again, all of your fellow brethren in Yeshua HaMashiach for joining us for day 38, day 38 of counting the Omer, of our journey of counting the Omer to Shavuot, which Messiah has ordained for us. Staggering, staggering is his word, dear brothers and sisters. And Psalm 138, King David notes that Messiah has put put his word above his name. Isn't that staggering, dear brothers and sisters? So let us keep drawing what Messiah has for us for day 38. And let us once again pray that so pray so that Messiah can reveal what he has for each one of us for day 38. And today let us end with a short word of prayer. Would you like to say a short word of prayer for us, please, Anne? Yes. All right, you can please go ahead, Anne. Lord Jesus, once again, I bring ourselves to your presence, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for your word and for this opportunity to meditate on your word, Lord. And bless us as we go forth from here and bless all our viewers, Lord. And help us, Lord, to build our lives on your word, Lord. And to be doers of your word, Lord, as the scripture tells us, Lord. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much, Anna, once again for praying for us. And would you also like to say a short word of prayer for us, please, David? Yes. All right, you can please go ahead, David. Our Lord, our King, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for this time, and I thank you, Lord, for being with us, Lord. And as we come to, to the end of day 38, Lord, strengthen us, Lord, and empower us, Lord, and plus all our viewers, Lord, and help them, Lord, to trust in you, Lord, in your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Once again, we thank you so much, David, for praying for us. And we thank you so very much, all our dear fellow brethren, once again, for joining us for day 38, day 38 of Counting Domer to Shavuot, which Messiah ordained for us. Lord willing, Lord willing, we will be back for day 39. Messiah willing, we will be back for day 39. Till then, let us be in His presence, because only in His presence there is fullness of joy. Only in Messiah's right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So let us be in His presence, and let us truly 
worship him and honor him and exalt him with all our being we thank you so very much once again all our dear fellow brethren in messiah yeshua hamashiach for joining us for day 38 for counting domor counting domor to shavuot and may lord god almighty el shaddai bless each and every one of you shalom